Hey, good morning guys. Chad here with Canine Revolution Dog Training. Got a great day with me today and today we're doing some uh, muzzle drills. Basically we're going to be teaching the dog through a uh, little bit of shaping but mainly free shaping which means the dog is figuring it out on their own how to place their nose into a muzzle in order to be comfortable with the muzzle. There's a couple reasons why you uh, and the dog's just really excited to be out doing a training session. So you saw him jump up on me, I say no, give a correction for that, all right. But uh, there's a couple reasons why you may be using a muzzle in your training. Number one, it could be uh, you know to protect other people or to protect uh, other dogs from a dog, right? Or it could be uh, to protect your veterinarian or groomer from a dog that uh, may not be so good in those types of situations and you're still working on that. Or it could just be for a brain game. So in this case, I'm using it with this Great Dane here. Uh, number one, as a brain game. Number two, uh, as a safety for the vet. So if the vet is a little bit uncomfortable or a little bit nervous dealing with the dog this big, this strong, this powerful, uh, we can put a muzzle on and the fact that we're going through these muzzle games and making it a fun, enjoyable experience just makes it safer for the vet, makes the vet more comfortable and the dog doesn't really care because it's just another piece of equipment that we're used to playing and hanging out with, okay? So all I'm doing is I'm using food rewards and I'm uh, going to mark and reward every time he puts his nose in the muzzle. So I'm just holding the muzzle there. He's offering me to put his nose into the muzzle because every time he does that, I'm going to say yes or good. And then I'm going to provide a food reward for that depending on what type of uh, reinforcement marker that you're providing, okay? So I'm just holding the muzzle there. He sticks his nose in it real quick. He doesn't have to hold it in there. I just say good, give him a piece of food, okay? And I'm going to change up the angles, right? So that, that time he got his nose in there a little bit, mouth was open. That's okay, I'll still reward you for that. But you can see he's shoving his nose in there with vigor, with intensity, with energy. He's purposely shoving his nose in there. He's just getting excited. He's pawing around. But he's shoving his nose in there. I say good, give him a reward. And now I'm kind of, I'm kind of uh, providing some movement into the session to make it more interesting for him. And I want him just to follow me and stick his nose into the muzzle, okay? So he's getting a little distracted here, sniffing the ground. That's fine. I'm just going to hold the muzzle there. Let him offer to put his nose into the muzzle when he does that i just say good give him a reward okay right there again he shoves his nose in i say good give him a reward okay so it's just repetitions of this process and notice i'm just changing up the angle at which i'm asking him to put the muzzle on so that he's used to just operating at different angles okay but for him you notice he shoves his nose in there he kind of shakes it around he's just excited he's super energetic he's enjoying it right this is making a great association to the muzzle he's also thinking about having to put his nose in there and shove it in there. And I really like the intensity that he's showing me where he's shoving it deep inside the muzzle and then uh, he gets released for a reward, okay? So he's just kind of sniffing around right now. I'm not gonna say anything. I just want him to uh, come over to me on his own and uh, start to engage with me, all right? That's just part of our training process. That's the first step is building up that engagement. So this dog's pretty, pretty advanced level uh, training here. And he's kind of blowing me off right now. He's not really interested in the muzzle game. He's interested in sniffing things. So I'm going to wait for him to be interested in the muzzle game. Here we go. So this time I try to start the game a little bit differently. I throw some food into the muzzle, then I hold it at a downward angle. And I want him to shove his nose all the way in there and eat the food while he's in the muzzle. This is just getting him comfortable uh, to operating in the muzzle. And you saw him jump there for a second because he's excited. I'm still going to say no and correct you for jumping which I did, all right? But uh, anyway, all I'm doing is I'm putting food into the muzzle, angling it downward, so he has to shove his nose in there, keep his nose in there, which is gonna build up duration of the muzzle behavior, and he has to operate comfortably inside the muzzle. So he's eating food, he's breathing, he's operating comfortably inside of that muzzle, all right? And so I'm just changing up the angles here again. I'm just showing you in the, in the footage here that I'm dropping some food in there, bringing it below his shoulder level so it's easy for him to shove his nose into it, and he's eating, and right now, right there, I just kind of pull the straps out just to get him used to the concept that this is gonna be fastened to your head, okay? So I put the food in there, hold the straps out just to get him used to the concept that it's gonna be on you for longer than a couple seconds, and as long as he's showing me good energy, good uh, effort into the game, I'm going to, uh, to keep playing and keep it as fun as possible, okay? He did get excited there, ran off, ran back, no problem. All right, now we're just gonna go right back into the game. And I'm just putting food in there. He's eating a piece off the ground that fell in there. He shoves his nose in there. He's eating and operating uh, inside the muzzle for a longer period of time, which is what we want, okay? So here we go again, some food in the muzzle. Shoves his nose in there, which is what we want, okay? Operating inside the muzzle. 
get a little hyped up. I'm pulling the straps up just a little bit, getting him used to the fact that there's gonna be a muzzle uh, enclosing your face for a while, for a longer period of time, okay? And that's the, that's the goal right here. So this may take several sessions for a dog, okay? The, the dog may not progress at this level. So I did grab it just a different muzzle, a bigger one that has more enclosure around it. And I'm having him put his nose in there, hold his nose inside there, okay? He gets excited again, no problem. Just go right back into the game, right? Keep going, okay? So I put food in there, drop it down. <laughs> he shoves his nose in there. I put the strap around to simulate it being on for a longer period of time. He did resist there for a little bit, but then he went right back into the game. So nothing too stressful, just getting him used to the fact that the muzzle will be secured to him. Uh, but also, we're just trying to build the best association possible to that muzzle. All right, we're gonna pick a muzzle that's best for the dog, okay? So he's just at different angles. That was an upward angle. He had to shove his nose up and into the muzzle, okay? Do it again right here, good. Shove your nose in there. Okay, he got a little distracted, there we go. Nose goes into the muzzle, and then uh, he's good to go, gets the reward, okay? Do it another repetition here. Good, perfect, right there. So he shoves his nose in there, gets a good reward, good repetition. And we're gonna do a couple more here before we end the session, perfect. So that was just a different angle and a different muzzle. So I'm using a variety of muzzles with him. This one's gonna end up being a really comfortable one for him because it's bigger, right? The basket muzzle work great too. It has more uh, breathability room, stuff like that. So this time I get it really close to latching and just getting him used to the fact you're gonna feel that tension around the back of your head depending on where you're going. All right, that's a good session right there. Hope you guys have a good one. Let us know how we did in the comments below. Talk to y'all later.